Hello everyone, in this uh, video I would like to cover everything you need uh, um, for lab number 6 and lab number 6 uh, is related to linear regression. Linear regression is uh, one of the most well known and well understood uh, algorithms uh, in statistics uh, and machine learning. Um, yeah, if uh, at some uh, point uh, uh, you decide to uh, study math foundation uh, of uh, machine learning, uh, the linear regression is going to be one of the first uh, steps you are going to do in uh, in this direction. Okay, okay so let's uh, uh, let's see. So let's uh, solve um, um, uh, something similar to what you have in uh, lab number uh, six. Uh, uh, let's say we have some data. We measured the pressure. Um, every half a second we were measuring the pressure in some uh, process. Uh, and the first step, let's just uh, plot this data. So let's just uh, grab it uh, here. Let's insert. Let's insert scatter uh, plot. Okay, so let's uh, call it pressure. And let's maybe add some access titles. Uh, so this is uh, time, time in seconds. Okay, and let's add this one. And this one is pressure in kp. Okay, uh, so as we can see, so as we can see, this uh, uh, data is uh, quite uh, close uh, to uh, the linear trend. And uh, yeah, we can see a couple of uh, points which are which are going out of uh, this uh, this uh, trend. Uh, but the question we need uh, to answer: uh, if uh, we can predict, if we can predict uh, um, the further so the further behavior like of this uh, process uh, based uh, on uh, linear uh, some linear uh, trend, some linear equation. Okay, so this is so-called linear regression uh, model. Okay, uh, making predictions uh, based on the uh, linear uh, relationship. Okay, uh, so we can see that it is quite close, but now we need somehow quantify. So how close we are to the uh, linear uh, linear trend. Uh, the easiest way to derive uh, uh, equation of the closest line, like to uh, this uh, given points, uh, and uh, to calculate so-called uh, Pearson's uh, correlation uh, coefficient. Uh, which also uh, shows us uh, how close we are uh, to that uh, given uh, uh, trend line. So the easiest way is uh, to go here and just insert the linear linear trend line right there. Okay, okay so let's uh, click on it, double click. Here we go to the trend line options uh, and uh, display equation on the chart and display r squared value on the chart so r squared so this is the pearson's uh, correlation coefficient uh, squared okay let's uh, move it here let's maybe make it a little bit bigger Okay, so that's what uh, we have. We can see that uh, equations, which is uh, uh, which is covering like most of the points. Here, obviously, it is uh, kind of sacrificing uh, uh, with these two uh, to cover uh, everything else. Uh, yeah, obviously, if we start moving closer to this point, or closer to this point, like we start moving this line, yeah, we are not going to cover a lot of points. Okay. And we can see that uh, Pearson, uh, Pearson, uh, Pearson's correlation uh, coefficient here it is equal to uh, squared 0.959. Uh, in order to calculate uh, Pearson's correlation coefficient, let's maybe uh, notate it the same way as it is notated here in the formulas, and uh, it is equal to squared root, squared root of uh, 0.9559. Okay, as you can see, we are uh, we are taking positive value. Uh, technically speaking, yeah, this is quadratic equation. Yeah, and uh, uh, as you remember from algebra, uh, quadratic equation uh, has uh, uh, two roots. Always have two roots. And um, yeah, here it is plus minus square root of uh, square root of that. Uh, 
but uh, we are taking the positive um, Pearson's correlation coefficient because the um, uh, the slope here is positive. So as you can see here, so those are um, those are some uh, examples uh, of uh, different uh, uh, correlation coefficients. Uh, for example, uh, we have here 0 0.5 and here we have 0 0.9. Yeah, so here we have one. If uh, Pearson's correlation coefficient uh, is equal to one, that means uh, that all those points are uh, are located in on the on the line on the trend line. Okay, on the trend line. Yeah. So the less is uh, Pearson's correlation coefficient. Uh, so the um, the less is the linear trend. Yeah, and if uh, the slope is negative, uh, then uh, Pearson's correlation coefficient is uh, negative. Uh, the other way to calculate Pearson's correlation coefficient, uh, uh, correlation coefficient is uh, using correlation uh, correlation function, and uh, this is our first array, and this is our second array, and done. Okay, as you can see, it's slightly different uh, because here we are cutting the tail. Yeah, so we are cutting the tail here. So this is a more precise uh, uh, number, more precise number. And you see it's positive if uh, we had the negative slope here. So then uh, we would have uh, yeah, Pearson's correlation coefficient calculated using that correlation function and uh, negative. Okay. But this is not enough. Um, so now we need to answer the, the next uh, uh, question. So how confident uh, we are so that if we continue uh, collecting this uh, data, so if we continue coll collecting uh, this data, that it is uh, going to be aligned along the same linear uh, trend. Okay, so we would like to uh, uh, figure this out uh, based on the uh, significance uh, level of uh, 0 0.05. Okay, so okay, so the question is, uh, can we say that we are 95% uh, confident? So that if we continue collect the other day, this uh, this data is going to follow like that uh, linear uh, trend, and then that means uh, if it is the case, we are ninety five percent confident. So then we can do some uh, predictions, uh, and again we can say that uh, we are ninety five percent confidence confident uh, that uh, this data is going uh, along that uh, linear trend, and based on that we make our predictions based based on this uh, equation. Yeah. So this uh, hypothesis. Uh, uh, tested process uh, is uh, two-tailed and we set up the following uh, H0 and H1. So the null hypothesis uh, uh, states that uh, there is no correlation here yeah, and obviously the alternative hypothesis is the uh, mathematical uh, ma mathematical opposite and uh, uh, H1 is uh, um, that we have significant correlation. Yeah, so we have it or we do not have it. Yeah, so we can say that yes, we are 95, let's say, percent confident that there is a uh, um, linear, uh, there is a linear trend. Okay. Okay. So this is the formula to calculate the test statistic in this case, uh, and we can slightly rearrange like that process. We will see how we can a little bit rearrange it. Okay. But first, yeah, let's do it as we used to do it. Uh, let's calculate that um, uh, test statistic. So then, uh, based on that, we are going to uh, calculate the critical value, and then we are going to uh, see if our test statistic uh, within or out of the uh, critical um, uh, critical region, and this is two-tailed. Uh, this is two-tailed uh, test. Okay, so let's maybe put this here. Okay, so let's uh, calculate. Um, uh, so this is our R. Our R is equal to uh, this. Yeah, let's take this uh, a little bit more precise value. And then this is our t uh, t test statistic t test statistic. Okay, and let's use uh, this formula. So this is equal to our r multiplied multiplied by um, squared root squared root, and this is n minus two. So that's how many pairs, like how many pairs do we have? So we can yeah calculate uh, using the count function, or we can just uh, say okay. So this is going to be uh, count, count, and let's just calculate those uh, values here. 
You can do it separately if you want to. And then minus two and uh, divided by one minus uh, R squared. Okay, so this is our uh, test statistic. As you can see, our test statistic is uh, uh, quite significant. Uh, so it is uh, quite significant. Uh, so that means uh, uh, we are going to reject H0 most likely. Yeah, most likely we are going to reject uh, H0 because this is this is a lot. Yeah, so 24 is way way over uh, there, like in the in the, in the tail. Yeah. But yeah, let's uh, formally calculate the critical value uh, T. Uh, critical critical and let's use the, our inverted function so this is equal to t inverted so this is t inverted and this is two tail so this is two tail test uh, t inverted so the probability uh, probability is uh, uh, 0 0.05 0 0.05 and degrees of freedom uh, here is n minus uh, 2. Yeah, so it's n minus 2. So in this uh, case, instead of n minus 1, which we used uh, with the uh, student's distribution uh, function, uh, here uh, for this uh, uh, regression uh, regression uh, hypothesis testing, we are going to use n minus, uh, n minus 2 for degrees of uh, freedom. And again, this is uh, count. Count. So this is our n, the quantity of the pairs, and minus uh, minus two. So this is our critical value. As you can see, our test statistic, our test statistic is significantly greater than the critical value. So that means uh, we are far, far, far in the uh, critical region in the right um, in the right tail. Okay. In the right tail so that means we reject h0 and as a conclusion as a conclusion we can say uh, that uh, there is a significant correlation between uh, the variables in the population so we, we are 95 percent confident 95 percent uh, confident uh, that this data is going to follow a linear trend okay so the other way, uh, the other way to uh, to do it, so we can calculate uh, the um, critical value. So the critical value for the correlation coefficient. So what we are doing here, so we are taking the t critical. So we are taking the t critical. Okay. So we are taking the uh, t critical. We substituted here. Yeah. We substituted here, and then we calculate r from this equation okay so we calculate r from this equation okay so this is uh, that uh, that formula so let's uh, do it so let's calculate r critical and then we are going to compare it like to our r so which we calculated here and if the calculated pearson's uh, correlation coefficient is greater than the critical value from the table or calculated uh, using this uh, formula and I have the table here as well we are going to see it in a couple of minutes and uh, we will check how to use it as well as the alternative source like for the uh, critical value of the uh, correlation coefficient so then we reject the null hypothesis okay so let's uh, see so let's calculate our uh, our critical value and it is uh, equal to uh, squared root oops here let's maybe yeah, do it like this so this is our critical 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 and it is uh, equal it is uh, equal to uh, squared root squared root and this is uh, our t-critical, k-squared, t-critical uh, squared, and divided by n uh, minus 2. So again, we will count. Again, guys, you can count uh, all the stuff separately. Okay. 
So this uh, minus uh, two uh, plus plus the critical value squared squared and uh, yeah we close uh, that bracket and then we close uh, the squared root bracket okay so this is our uh, this is our uh, critical uh, critical value and then we compare our critical value our critical value to the calculated one okay to the calculated calculated one so and again if the calculated Pearson's correlation coefficient is greater than the critical value so see here calculated Pearson's correlation uh, coefficient it is greater than critical uh, value then the critical uh, value uh, from the table or calculate it using this formula so then reject the null hypothesis so we reject the null hypothesis same result so we reject the null uh, hypothesis uh, uh, that means that we have strong correlation so the other way to um, uh, to uh, calculate the r critical is based on this uh, table so which i provided uh, which i provided here okay so which I provided here, and let's see what value we can find in this uh, in this table. So it should be quite close to this one. So it should be quite close to this one. Okay, so let's see. So we have the critical uh, table. Uh, so the degrees of freedom and minus two. So let's let's at last calculate that degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom. So this is equal to. Uh, let's count that. Okay and like this minus minus two 27 so 27 degrees of freedom are 27 right there and you see uh, you have 0 0.05 yeah, so the level of significance for two tailed test for two tailed test so it's 0 0.05 and it is 27 so the value is a uh, 0.367 so see here, degrees of freedom 27, the level of significance for two-tailed is 0 0.05, and the value is uh, uh, 0 0.367, okay? So we go here, so it's 0 0.367, so it's uh, point, point 0.367, and this is table table value okay as you can see same yeah so same same stuff so here we just so they just cut the tail in the table so this is a little bit more precise number okay so that's it so that's all you need uh, to do in this uh, lab